Hello. I hope everyone is doing well. I thought today we can just do a sit down chat. I made some tea. I made you some too. It's sitting on the table right there. Last time I basically force fed it to you and I don't want to have to do that. So I just made it and set it there if you would like to have some. It is a mango ginger tea. And it, I made this tea slightly sweeter than I normally do. I didn't mean to put that much honey in it, but it does have, it is sweetened with a lot of honey. So I, uh, I'm showered. I'm ready for bed. I just got a haircut. Thank God I needed it. And my hair is not fixed. I'm, everything's ready for bed and I just thought we could sit down and we can just relax and we can have a talk together would that be would that be okay with you would you sit with me please thank you The tea is pretty delicious, by the way. Just a little sweet. It's good. You should drink some. So, in today's video, I thought that we could kind of do a little bit of a check-in to see how we're doing. It's going to be a little bit different than last video. My last in in our last video we we did a little bit of beard scratching before I trimmed my beard and just did some movements across the camera and overall. So, you know, do you want to check that out? This is a ramble, so it's not really structured, and I just want us to be comfortable together. But I wanted to talk about something that is very important to me. I've made one video on this before. And the response that I got brought me to tears. And I just think it's important to talk about. But first... So, in a previous video, I spoke to you about my hands. I have four fingers on each hand. I was scared to become an ASM artist because of the tapping. It sounds different, but I like it. And I overcome that anxiety and fear. And now something else has happened in my life that makes me need to talk about that on a different type of scale. And I want to share it with you because I think you need to hear it too. Earlier this week, I had a couple of co-workers at my regular 9 to 5 job look up my ASMR channel and uh, watch it. I noticed one of them came up front and came to me and uh, they said, absolutely, Dr. Daniel. And I immediately turned around and was like, what have you seen? What do you know? <laughs> and... Uh, then she proceeded to tell me that her and our other co-worker were 
laughing at the videos and kind of, you know, getting a kick out of them. And she was laughing and, uh, I was, I chuckled with her. She's a very sweet person. But it really, really unsettled me because she didn't realize that she was laughing at something that I love about me, to me, to my face. And she meant it in the form of we can laugh and joke together. But that's not how my emotions took it and ran with it. I immediately felt hurt. And I didn't say anything to her because I genuinely don't think that she meant it. But it happened. And I haven't said anything to her yet. She doesn't know. She's a very sweet lady. She cares about me. I know she does. She checked on me during my surgery. Uh, and I love her to death. It's just so happened that this incident hurt me. And I care about her enough to not want to tell her this because I don't want her to hurt about hurting me. It's different if someone intentionally does something with the thought of hurting you or making fun of you. And then I got to thinking about my confidence and I got to thinking about how sometimes good people do things. And even though they don't mean it to come off as something bad, it just seems like a bad thing. She didn't realize that she was making fun of me. And I'm glad that I didn't say anything originally because this same person came back to me the next day and said, I looked up more ASMR. I watched more ASMR videos. And now she said that she is very interested and she's just very intrigued and that she wants to watch more. And then I validated what I thought about her. She took something she never saw, educated herself on it, and now she likes it. So I genuinely think it was an accident. So your tea is getting cold. I think you should drink some of it. It's really good. But the lesson that I took behind that and the lesson that I want you to think about while you're falling asleep tonight is sometimes certain actions don't define who you are. We're human. We mess up sometimes. We're not guaranteed to get it right every time. And I think that you owe it to people that who you're close with to give them a chance to own up to what they've done or redeem themselves or change your opinion on what happened. Because originally I was really hurt by this. But I got my validation that she didn't even mean that. She's a good person and I don't want her to hurt, so I'm not going to tell her. And she may see this, she may not. I don't know if she's going to watch my videos. But I just wanted to tell you it's okay to give people a minute to 
think about themselves and their actions. And it's okay for you to stop and evaluate this A situation that you may be in and give yourself a minute to think about this. How did this make you feel? How do you think the other person feels? And the most important question, how do you think they intended you to feel? She didn't intend to hurt me. She didn't intend to make me feel bad. She doesn't know that I have had severe depression issues. She doesn't know that I have had severe anxiety issues. She might now that she watches this, but certain things can hurt me easy if they catch me by surprise. And it's okay to hurt sometimes. But sometimes it's okay to just stop and take a minute and just sit on it and think about this hurt me. But did they intend to? Did they intend to hurt me? Because I don't think they did. And she didn't. She didn't. So there was no reason for me to be angry about it. It's okay to hurt from other people's actions. That's perfectly healthy to feel things as they happen. It's actually one of the healthiest things you can do is to just feel your emotions in the moment. But as you're falling asleep to this ASMR video, I want you to know that me, Daniel, your friend, is here for you to tell you that you're going to be okay. Whatever issues you've got going on, you're okay. You're going to get through this. And when you come out on the other end of it, you're going to look back and you're going to think, I'm so glad that that's over, but it's not as big a deal as I felt like it was. We weren't promised problem free lives. We weren't promised 100% good days. And I think that when you come to terms with that and you're at peace with it, then you can start looking at being a good human and practicing giving other people joy. And that's going to help you. And I mean, this is a ramble. I am rambling at this point, but sometimes it's okay to stop and think about how the other person feels and how they intend for you to feel. And that means something in every and any situation. So don't let it get you upset. Let's see here. Have you been okay? Have you been doing anything exciting? What is something that brought you joy this week? What is something positive? If you're still awake and you're watching this, I would really like you to put something positive about your week that maybe made you a little happy in the comment section below. Maybe go find someone else's comment and add on to it. Appreciate the happiness and appreciate the positivity because some of us don't get that anywhere else but here. And it's sad, but you can always come here for that. 
And I just want you to know. Owen. I shaved my body. But I didn't shave my body. I trimmed my body. Since I lost all this weight from my surgery. Well, I didn't lose like a crap ton of weight. But my body is starting to lose weight. And I think it's because... Not only did I have a kickstart from the tonsil, the surgery, but I think my body is just healthier and feels better. And so it's losing excess weight that I put on over the winter because my metabolism is coming up back to normal. And it just make it does make me happy. So that's something that I've noticed about myself this week that, you know, I feel healthy. I've taken care of myself this week. It's been a pretty intense work week, but a good work week. I've got you know, lots of positive things going for me. We hit 2,000 subscribers on Monday. We did. We did that. And my channel, it's, I'm gaining more subscribers faster. And if you're new here, welcome. But it's just so surreal, unreal. I just, my mind is blown. I, uh, a YouTuber that I watch all the time actually subscribed to my channel i'm not gonna say who it is yet uh, but it's actually really nice i have a lot of smaller channels and i'm i'm a small youtuber i'm a small youtuber but i have a lot of small channels with like maybe 50 60 subscribers message me and want me to shout them out and want me to do a whole bunch of things for them and that's all they want to talk about. But me and this larger YouTuber are just chatting, which is so refreshing and nice. It's so nice to have a just a conversation with someone and just a simple, how is your day? That it's considerate and makes me feel good. And uh, we've just been lightly chatting. I did ask if he wanted to make a video once, but I'm not. I'm not about that. I'm. I'm not. I didn't ask to make the video for the views or the subscribers because I am earning those on my own. And I want you to feel comfortable to join us, but. I want to do it because it's something fun to do. And I have very few friends with an interest like this. So maybe we can just wait on it till we're on even playing grounds if we ever get there. And then we'll be fine. But this week has been well, well. My other channel, as we speak, is being converted to a game streaming channel because the YouTube game streaming life, I didn't choose it, it chose me. Saturday, I, I kind of had the last straw with my streaming problems. And for some reason, everything just started working perfectly when I started streaming to only YouTube. And it went really well, so I think I'm going to continue to do that. And I might revisit Twitch later, but I think I need to go with using my other channel as a YouTube gaming channel to stream 
So I guess I'm going to be a YouTube streamer. But how, how have you... How are you doing? I saw you. I saw you drink some of that tea. What do you think about it? Yeah, it's good. It's really good. I'm sorry. I tend. I get really excited whenever you're here. So does my cat Leo. Yes, Leo. You want to come go over here and say hi? He's apparently shy today. But, I don't know, I just get really excited and happy whenever you're here with me so we can uh, chat together. And then I end up talking way more than you do. And I am really sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It's my cat. Listen. Leo. Leo, what are you doing? Leo. <laughs> oh my god. He's a mess. He is a mess. But anyways. I guess I'll uh, let you get to bed. You look really tired. Did the tea uh, do it? Did the tea do you in? I always like having a nice hot cup of tea before I brush my teeth and go to bed. It just it comforts me and it I don't know warms me up. I guess. And it just makes me all cozy and ready to go to sleep, so. You know, just wanted to kind of share that with you. I thought it would just be a good decision. So what do you think? You going to go to bed? <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Well, just remember that I love you. And if you need anything, you can always come back here to me. And you can chat with me. I really like chatting with people. In case you can't tell, I chat maybe a little too much. Next time I'm going to let you talk a little more, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Alright, anyways. I'm looking a little bit like a mess, so how about we just all go to bed, and then I'll just get ready in the morning before you, so that way yeah, you don't have to see this. <sighs> <sighs>